everybody welcome back to our channel so today's uh, video is all about how to put together like a small to medium sized gathering or a party um, I love hosting ever since either for birthday parties or little lunches or dinners or breakfast whatever it may be um, so what you want to do is you know just do like a casual uh, breakdown of what kind of foods you want to you know present and then go ahead and make a separate grocery list and you do I suggest that you go to like discount stores also to get party supplies paper plates spoons uh, tablecloths the plastic ones or little decorations it will really save you money in the long run by going to like the Dollar Tree or um, any kind of discount store to get your party supplies like the 99 cents only store so I'm gonna briefly show you um, an example of my gathering for tomorrow I'm having a little lunch get together with the family and a couple friends so I just did like a excuse my writing I just kind of roughly did a, a what I'm gonna make so for salads I just did like an organic salad mix strawberries with grapes and I'm gonna do some homemade whipped cream and then the frozen shrimp cocktail that you just rinse in cold water and then some crab rat rangoons and pot stickers the main course I'm doing a Filipino beef sinigang uh, beef pot roast in the slow cooker chicken pancit chicken wings korean style it's already marinating in the refrigerator i'm doing a hot pot shabu shabu little station that my daughter put together and then my husband's going to go get um, some cheese and pepperoni pizzas and he's also going to get some fried chicken and i'm going to do some mini sandwiches made with uh, this here the king's hawaiian uh, butter rolls and i'm going to do turkey and roast beef okay for desserts i'm doing um like a filipino dessert theme and it's the guineta ang bilo bilo which is uh like the root different roots like sweet potato purple yam with cooked with um coconut milk coconut cream also it has a uh, jackfruit uh different things like that all with ta little tapioca pearls palitao is a rice cake with um like sticky rice flour it's made with like the size of a, a like a dollar coin and it's rolled in sugar um coconut sesame seeds this third one here the cassava cake is made with the cassava root i bought that one i didn't make it but i do have a recipe for it that i make and the malaket rice i just bought that too and the cake i'm not sure what kind of cake i'm gonna do yet but yeah so that is my main um my little menu for tomorrow and I already bought all the stuff I'm gonna show you how how I prepare things the night before so what I do the night before everyone is I clear my uh, table and I put all the chairs against the wall there all five of them and then I clear my table out and I wipe everything really well and at the bottom of the table the base I wipe that and I uh, put out the little you know two tables and i tie it if you ever have a party and you have two tables please tie the bottom of it the legs because you do not want to have food up here and the tables separate and the food will fall down on the floor so that's a little uh, tip for you so i just lay everything out these table this plastic tablecloth was from the dollar tree they have them in all assorted colors this is the white one and this is the malaket rice from Goldilocks Bakery. Um, so that's just one of the desserts that I bought. Everything there is from the 99 cent store or the Dollar Tree. Some cutlery, some paper plates and paper bowls. So that's what it looks like from here, from this angle. There's the chairs. Also, you guys make sure that you straighten up any clutter in your living room. So what I did is I put the ottoman here and the little uh, stool. I'm going to put those boxes in the recycling later on. But yeah, so dust everything, clean, you know, what whatever you need to clean. You always want to present your home um, in a clean way and that way it's comfortable for your guests. So I went ahead and cleaned the living room 
straightened out all the clutter. I did put a little, um, like a little multi-purpose table there with the white tablecloth also. I folded it in half and that's a, a dollar from the Dollar Tree. Okay, so you also want to see when you first walk in how your house will look your place will look when they, when they come in. So you wanna make sure there's no clutter anywhere. So here is the little Shabu Shabu hot pot station that my daughter put together. And I only have two bar stools here, guys, but this one is from the little desk area, this third bar stool. So yeah, we have a cute little countertop and we set it up. I helped her, but she put it together mostly. So we have our little electric cooktop here. And then there's a Shabu Shabu hot pot. It has a little separator in the middle. Make sure all the pots are clean. These are all clean, washed, and ready to go. And then we have this one, one of our favorites. This one has a grill on the top. So if they want to grill a piece of the meat or salmon or fish they, or shrimp, whatever, they can grill it up there. Then they have their soup down here to dip their veggies and meat in there. And then here's an extra one for the next person that's waiting. They can start to season their um, the, their side, whatever broth they want to use or whatever. If they're going to do shabu, shabu shabu, then they would just put the seaweed and water. If they're going to do hot pot, then they would put their broth and seasonings on, um, on their side. And so my daughter just did like this cute little menu thing. So she just kind of briefly told the guests that if you're gonna do shabu shabu, you're just gonna put um, seaweed, the special seaweed in there, and then the hot, um, hot water, and then, or water to, you know, warm it up to a simmer. And then if you're gonna do hot pot, you're gonna mix either beef or chicken broth, add any seasoning or spice, and you're just gonna swish until it's cooked. Um, and then it's just telling them they're gonna dip it in the goma sauce and, or ponzu sauce and they're going to add the shredded daikon and green onions and mix so that's a little tip for them also this um she made like a really cute little thing here like what kind of meat we're offering steak salmon cold cod and shrimp miscellaneous is fish ball fish cake shrimp ball lobster ball veggies is uh like napa cabbage straw mushrooms green onions snow peas zucchini onions carrots and asparagus and then here are some of the sauces if you guys ever want to throw a hot pot shabu shabu party, um, you're going to need one of these, the goma shabu. So you want to put some shredded daikon and green onions on top of this. And I got another brand, but it's the same thing. It's just a different brand. And I got some sriracha, of course, for flavor, for heat and spice. Uh, sriracha mayo is going to be for the sandwiches, but I just put it out here. I got some organic beef and chicken broth. And then this one is, um, it's going to be for the pot stickers, that one there. And the, um, I'm also making crab rangoons. And then this is the ponzu. I have two different kinds. This one is like the lemon one, and I have the lime one also in the fridge. And then just some dark soy. And then I, we also put um, these little things here, the little, because you want to put it in here because you're going to dip your, once you swish, swish the meat in the hot broth for, you know, until it's cooked, then you're going to go ahead and uh, take it out with your chopstick and dip it either in the ponzu or in the goma sauce. So that is about like a dozen of them there. And these, you guys, are so affordable from the Dollar Tree. They're three for a dollar. Really nice and, and useful. So that is our cute little uh, hot pot shabu shabu station. So it... Three people can go at a time if they like, because this one here, the two bar stools, um, what two people could sit here, because there's two dividers, and then one person could sit here, or like a, a couple, um, maybe like a husband wife, or you know, like a couple where they can share the broth to dip their the meat and veggies in, and they can grill their food together. So that's a really fun party idea, you guys. If you ever want to do like a hot pot shabu shabu uh, eating station, there you go. It's a nice little setup with the menu up here. Instructions for them. Okay, you guys. So also another suggestion that I do have is 
get your whatever you're cooking have your pots ready for it in the morning um well at night that way in the morning everything is ready for you to uh put all your stuff together and what pots you're going to need now i definitely will need these two pots but i'm going to need a couple more but i just started to put those out now okay so also i took this uh chuck uh, pot roast meat out of the refrigerator because I was defrosting it in there and pretty soon I'm going to go ahead and put this in the slow cooker on low for eight hours for tomorrow morning and then I'm just going to um, keep it on warm until the guests arrive about 12 noon. Okay so for the shabu shabu and hot pot ingredients um, you do want to keep everything in the freezer and take it out like um, I would say about Put it in the refrigerator like six to eight hours before that way it'll give it time to thaw out you know in the refrigerator so before i go to sleep i'm going to take out the shrimp um and the cod and then the salmon this is the salmon so i'm going to take the salmon out right here i got a pretty good sized salmon this one here so I'm going to thaw it out before I go to sleep. Okay. Okay, everybody. So welcome to my refrigerator. Um, also, it's even though we have a small refrigerator in our apartment, I do make good use of it. I utilize all the capacity in here from the door. If you keep everything clean and organized, I promise you, even the smallest refrigerators, you can put so much stuff in it. So I am gonna show you how I prep the night before um, before a gathering or party. That way, the, the, the day I'm actually gonna have the gathering or party, everything is so easy to, to just throw together and cook. So you guys know on the list, I had the um, crab rangoons. So I did already put that together. I, defro or I let the cream cheese sit at room temperature earlier today and then I went ahead when it was at room temperature I put all the stuff in here like the imitation crab green onions and all the spices and then I mixed it really well to a creamy consistency and then I put a saran wrap on that and then I'm going to wrap that with the with the uh wonton wraps or you can do the small egg roll thin wrap wrappers also but this is what I uh, was able to get at the grocery store that I went to okay so I also have just to show you guys how I so I also have some cheese this is also good to you know put out with some crackers and then I also got to make life easier like a little sushi tray this one is the um, Hayashi kind there's all kinds of different kinds you know the California roll spicy all kinds but this is the one I got the little platter Okay, and here is the Korean uh, chicken wings that's marinating in the Korean marinade. And then also in here, I have the other dessert, the cassava cake. And then over here, I have, I bought a rotisserie chicken. And you guys, if you don't have time to boil chicken and season it, Go ahead and buy a rotisserie chicken in your grocery store and just shred it and you can use it for all kinds of recipes. So this one is going to be for the Filipino pancit noodles that I'm making. I already shredded that. Okay, this is for the hot pot shabu shabu. I went ahead and got lobster balls and lobster and shrimp ball. So this one's a shrimp. And then for the little mini sandwiches, I got the roast beef and the turkey lunch meat. And then here's some veggies that I uh, pre-cut pre and washed. Some daikon. Now this one I already peeled and washed. This is the one I'm going to grate for the uh, sauce for the shabu shabu and hot pot. Also, I have down here... Remember to do all of this the day before or the night before. It will make your life so much easier and you will definitely save about two hours to three hours. So this is some Serrano uh, chilies. I diced some celery for the pancit noodles. And then some extra veggies right here. 
Okay, and then I have some cabbage down there. And this whole tray of veggies, you guys, it has asparagus, Napa cabbage, zucchini. Um, but yeah, it's got all the veggies. I'm going to bring that out tomorrow when the party starts. That way the guests can just go ahead and pick whatever veggies they want to put for their, their pot, hot pot. Okay, and here I also have the the enoki mushrooms this is good for the hot pot shabu shabu so i got three of those an eggplant for the sinigang soup that one i'm going to cut up last minute there's some veggies you want to cut last minute like potatoes and eggplant okay in here i have the daikon radish that i've already cut up for the soup and i have the green onions these are the thinly sliced and then I have some diced onions, some snow peas that I've already washed and cut. All of these have been washed and cut. Here's some more snow peas. Um, one part of the snow peas will be for the soup and one will be for the pancet. Some garlic, I already minced some garlic. Some green onions that I uh, sliced into about an inch and a half long pieces. And of course, some lime, some lemon, and this is the Filipino string, uh, the string beans for the sinigang. And I also sliced up tomatoes for the sinigang. This is Roma tomatoes that I've quartered, three of them. And this one here, the onions, these are uh, kind of half, sliced in half and then cut into about half inch thick pieces. This is for the Shabu Shabu Hot Pot and also for the pancit noodles. And then also I have carrots that I'm gonna use for that. And then carrots, the little baby carrots is for the pot roast. And then I have the mushrooms here. That's gonna be for the hot pot also. Okay, also you guys, I did buy this at the Japanese market. It's the, um, like the udon noodles these were frozen but i took it out of the freezer and i put it into the refrigerator so now it is ready to use you just have to rinse it in cold water and it's ready for them to use whoever wants noodles and then i also bought this one here the ramen noodle at the japanese market so there's like two packs in there but once you you know, take it out and you like wash it and rinse it real quick. It is going to um, look a lot more. Okay. Also, I did buy some spinach in case they want some spinach and some, I bought uh, the grapes right here, red seedless grapes over here. You always want some kind of salad. I just got some half and half mix. I also got some yummy strawberries and I'm going to make, make some homemade whipped cream to go with that. Okay, also you want to have some kind of wine um, in case there's people that drink wine. It's up to you. Um, we do have a lot of different wines. We have like watermelon Moscatos, Andre Spumante, red wines. And down there in our pantry, we have all kinds of different wines and alcohol. You guys know my husband's a bartender. We don't really drink because of my, uh, you know, I have low tolerance to alcohol i can't really drink but once in a blue moon on occasion if there's a holiday or something then we'll drink a little wine or something but other than that it just stays there for the guest so i also have all kinds of variety of yams here you guys i have regular you know the uh regular yams i have sweet potato right here the sweet potato and then i or right here underneath is the sweet potato this one is a chinese purple yam so I am going to be incorporating this into the uh, Ginataang Bilo Bilo Filipino dessert recipe. It's so delicious. You guys, I have a recipe for it uh, um, on my channel. Go ahead and check that out. Also, we have a cute Betty Boop. Um, I forgot to show you guys. We have a cute Betty Boop glass here. You know, she's my favorite. But yeah, so offer them some chopsticks here. And so... You know that way when they're sitting down um, also when they're sitting down you want to go ahead and push this back a little bit so it'll give them room 
for their little uh, sauce dish and a little plate to have all their little veggies and meat. So also if you're serving up a hot pot plate or hot pot station, you want to go ahead and give them the meat, the fish, um, and whatever other seafood um, as they're eating it. Not Do not put it out because you want to keep those things refrigerated. So when you're serving them a hot pot like a uh, you know, like slices of beef, make sure you keep all of that in the refrigerator and then just give it to them as they need it. That way it doesn't go go bad or get spoiled or anything. But the veggies, you know, you can, um, it doesn't have to be in the fridge, you know, that, that uh, at that time right away, but make sure all, all the meats and seafood stays in the fridge. Okay, everybody, so that is, um, the end of my video. I hope you found this helpful for your next gathering. Try out a shabu shabu hot pot uh, party that or gathering and I'm sure your friends and family will enjoy it. And I'm going to probably do a vlog tomorrow with the with my friends and family here just to show you what how it all goes, you know, how it all goes together. And so we will see you tomorrow. Thank you so much. If you like this video, press the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more awesome videos. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you. Bye-bye.